Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to add Firebase database to your Ionic app. First we need to install Angular Fire on Firebase using npm. So open your terminal on type npm install Angular Fire 2. I will be using Angular Fire 2 on Firebase with a save tab. So it will take some time to install these two libraries. In the meantime, go to the Firebase. So we will be adding a new project. Give a name to your project. I will just name it as my app. Select a country. I'm from India. Now it will create a project for you. Meantime, let's check is it installation completed or not. Installation completed. So I will close this terminal. Here you will be presented with this screen. So click on add Firebase to your web app. This will give you the con required configurations. Copy this config variable. Go to your app.module.ts yard above the ng module declarations. So we need to import some classes from Angular 5. So import Angular Fire module. from angular fire 2 angular fire 2 we just installed it so there is a small spelling mistake here that is a angular along with this we need to import angular fire database module from angular fire 2 slash database so once we imported these two so for your convenience I will just put a break here we are importing angular fire database module from angular fire 2 then angular file to database method so in imports i need to include angular file database and angular file module actually this is angular file database module not angular file database Then we need to initialize the Firebase here. Angular Fire module dot initialize app. We need to pass we need to pass this config variable to this initialize app function. So we'll just put it as a config. A comment. So now we are done with the configuration now get back to the home so for this we need to create in firebase we need to create a database 
first so i will go to develop within this i will select database so it will be branched with the screen so click on get started it will give you database so it is a bit trickier to add the data here so there is an option to export the data so I'll just create a json file where i will be exporting the data to the firebase so i will create a new file here so let me call it as a heroes so i'll just save it on my desktop name it as a heroes.json so i will be adding heroes from dc batman and marvel let me iron man so our database has a heroes object within heroes object we have two items one one item key is dc with the value batman another one is marvel with the value iron man so now we'll import this data to firebase click on import select heroes.json click import now you can see here the database added so now our database has a heroes object with two columns here so now we need to get this data to our app so let's close this file so in our home.ts file I'll be creating a function named as get data from firebase so we'll use this function to get the data from firebase i need to call this function in the constructor because constructor will run when page opens so to get the data from firebase i will be using a angular fire database from ang angular fire to slash and just add it here database So I'm doing same mistake again. No, it is okay. So I need to inject Angular Fire database to my constructor. So I'll just add it here. So public. Let me call it as AFT. Angular Fire database. To method to get the data is this dot afd dot c now we have four fun functions or objects here so we'll be using list first so within list i need to specify the key which i want to access here the key is heroes So to get the data, we'll be using value changes parameter. So I need to subscribe this thing because it is a async function. So once subscribe, once I get the data, let's call it as a data. This function will run. For now, we'll just log the data.
see this value change is used to get the data from firebase because this is a async function call we'll be subscribing to data so once we receive the data we just log the data here so let me run this file now the app is loading if i go to terminal you can see if we are receiving the data or not see we got some error the problem is permission denied because we didn't change the secure rules here so if you go to database on rules so the rules is like we can only read or write data if we have authorized account so now we don't have it for now let's just put it as both as true so now we can read the data save it click on publish so you can see rules are published now i will try to reload the data reload the app again so how do i reload it i'll just i don't know uh, once i reload it you can see the data is here you can clearly see it came as a list again now i will try to display them in an app so we don't need app model dot yes no i'm just closing this thing so i'll just create a variable named as item here once we receive the data we we'll assign this data to items so now we're getting the data in the console log let me just uh, try to display on the our app okay what i will do is i'll just delete this and add an item here and that i will be using ng for let item in items So that's a bad python habit I need to use of. So I will put item here within a curly braces. So if I reload it again, you can see we get the value here. So if you use list, we will be getting a list values. Okay. Uh, there is one other option we can also use object so let me add it here and update you can see i'm getting a object here so ng for doesn't work because uh, we are getting an object it only works for list right now that's all folks to know how to send the data from app to the firebase please watch my next video for more updates please subscribe to my channel